Hey everyone, Josh here, and today I'm going to be building a table. Yeah, so, the first thing you're going to need is two of these panels. Um, they're acacia hardwood uh, panels, uh, $100 each. But, um, yeah, so one's for the top, and the other one I'm going to cut in half and use for the legs. So, I'm going to use my table saw here. Alright, so I've taken the plastic off this one. Now I'm just going to mark out each leg and I want it to be 700 millimeters high. So So we got our legs cut to the right length and now we're just going to mark right in the middle halfway across and um, we're going to put a cut down there. This cut's a bit tricky because it's at 10 degrees um, just to give the angle on the legs to give the table the stability so I've set the uh, saw to 10 degrees and I'm going to put a cut right down the center of each leg. I've cut the legs down the center and um, and when you join them back together you turn them around and um, it gives you the angle for your legs which gives your table the stability so yeah have a look now if you didn't if you just joined them on straight then your table wouldn't be very strong because that um, that little angle there is going to stop it, stop the table from wanting to move from side to side. So um, now I'm going to join them together, which is a little bit tricky. You got to get your your holes drilled right so the screw comes through. And um, I'm going to put four screws in each each leg, and this is how the uh, screws will look. Where the screws will come through into into that piece. But, um, a little bit tricky you just got to make sure you got it going in the right direction um, but once you do a few you get used to it maybe practice on a on the scrap piece of wood just to get it right but um all right I'm gonna go ahead now and screw these together also I'm gonna glue them together make sure you use glue because it's really strong so Alright, so that's got that leg done. It's um, pulled in quite nicely. It's a little bit tricky. Just make sure you got the screws on the right angle so it doesn't go through and out the other side of the board. But um, yeah, that come up pretty good. Alright, so the legs are. Um, put together now, joined together. Now it's time to join them to the tabletop. But um, you could just screw these directly to the tabletop, but uh, it's probably gonna be a little bit weaker than what we're gonna do here. Um, I've, I've, I've thought the best way to do it is to router out a little rebeat for the legs to fit into, just to give it that extra bit of strength. Um, so yeah, I've measured back 350 from each end and now I'm going to mark out around the legs and then router out a rebate for the legs.
All right, so I've routed out them. Um, I just need to take a little bit more off because I always go a little bit under and then take the rest off when, if you need to. Yeah, it's just not quite fit in there now. Um, also, you're going to need a chisel and a hammer just to get the corners squared off where the edges go. But um, all right, I'll router a little bit more out of them so they fit in nicely, and then we'll have a look. All right, so I got them to fit in there, nice and snug. Um, so yeah, now it's all that's left to do now is to fill them up with glue and screw them down. Yeah, we're nearly there now as far as the building goes, but I just got to glue and screw that top down to them legs, and then a bit of putty in the screw holes and sand it all back and give it a coat of lacquer. So I'm going to go ahead now and screw these legs down and flip it over. But um, yeah, so here we go. All right, so that's it, all put together. Just got to putty up these holes, give it a sand and a lacquer, and it's all done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and. We'll have a look. Yeah, it's the best bit when you lacquer it because it all just sort of pops, but all right, I'm going to let that fully dry now for a few hours. Give it all another sand back and then, um, yeah, give it its final coat of lacquer. Like, you could do a few coats, but I reckon two's enough. And in a few years, when it gets a bit worn out, we can rub it back and put another coat on it. But all right, I'll check back in when I'm putting the last coat on. All right, so I've done the second coat underneath and now it's time for the second coat on the top um, this will be the last coat I'm only going to do two coats so they come up pretty nice these tables um, if you want to make one you got any questions just ask me in the comments below and um, yeah I'll help you out where I can but yeah I recommend making one for yourselves um, really handy and not that expensive either so all right, let's finish this off. So there we have it all done. Um, uh, guys, hope you enjoy that one, and I'll see you on the next one.